it's, it's been incredibly triggering. Uh, you know, I, I left the country uh, for eight months. I've tried to rebuild my life, uh, you know, but there's been a lot going on behind the scenes and I've just been constantly covertly, put, I've had to face a lot of covert racism. Uh, but, you know, I've tried to look ahead and sort of, you know, move forward a little bit. Um, you know, you never forget the trauma, but you sort of try and move forward. I've always looked at life last half full, uh, but, this last few days has been triggering from a different point, a few different points of view. You know, one, um, the lack of care from cricket. Um, you know, cricket people, uh, the way this has been greenlighted from the ECB, the Professional Cricketers Association, you know, the Yorkshire Board, um, you know, a lot to answer for. And we've got to a place where, you know, sport at the minute is, you know, there's so many private equity, so many people looking to invest in sport. But here you have one of the five top brands uh, in cricket in the world, and you're telling me that uh, there wasn't another suitable alternative. Um, I think from the information I've seen, uh, this has been the plan all along. You know, the fact that it dropped on Christmas Eve, um, you know, that's no coincidence to anyone that understands the PR and the media landscape. Um, so, yeah, incredibly triggering, incredibly sad, um, you know, hardly slept the last few days and, you know, feel a sense of incredible anger. But the message is loud and clear, you know, for I love cricket and, you know, as a human being, you want to be accepted and you feel like, you know, now is going to be the time. And I think it's time I take the hint and it's time, uh, you know, people from our community, um, you know, decide what it is that they want to be. Um, you know, do they want to keep trying to, you know, keep trying to, um, you know, fit into a system that doesn't want us or uh, do they want to stand up and uh, create a um, you know, a safer place for their kids. Uh, and I think that's where we're at. Everything that's happened over the last few years, uh, throughout all of that, you know, throughout the death threats I've had, throughout my house getting attacked, leaving the country, you know, speaking out, uh, I've always, you know, that I'm a, I'm a cap player. I've got cap number 179 at Yorkshire. I'm a cap player. I took a lot of pride in that. Um, and, you know, I throughout it all, I kept saying to people close to me, you know, uh, it's my club and also, the cause is bigger than me and at different times I've taken a lot, you know, I've taken a lot of abuse um, and, you know, this is a clear message straight, loud and clear to me, to other South Asians, to people of colour, that cricket is not a safe place for us um, and, you know, from now that it's on its way and getting completed, um, yeah, this is not a club, Yorkshire County Cricket Club, um, I don't have any attachment to it. Um, and it's not my club anymore. Um, that's how I feel about it. And that cap of mine that I held so much pride with, um, you know, it's not something that I has any importance in my life anymore. Uh, you know, from actually trying to help these people understand, I've given up from that point because I think they don't want to understand. Um, you know, actions speak louder than words. You know, if after the ICEC report, we're still trying to say, listen to us, listen to us. Um, I think people are showing us that they don't want to listen to us and they don't want us, apart from when it suits their agendas. Um, then I think we've got to decide whether we want them. Anyone involved in cricket, the sponsors, key stakeholders should all hang their heads in shame. And history won't forget it because I won't let them. Um, you know, this is... Um, I think you can tell, like, it's incredibly emotional, it's incredibly taxing and triggering, uh, 
you know, I've had to pick up my family and move from a place that I've called home for 21 years. And, you know, um, the implications on my family's health because of that move. You know, how do I, how do I look at my uh, kids in the future? And, you know, when they ask about it, uh, you know, why, they've, why they're away from their cousins and why they, they are, you know, living from um, hotel room to hotel room or why they are, um, you know, so far away from home. Um, and I tell them, well, actually, in two years later, this is what happened. And they'll be like, well, why did you bother? Um, so, you know, it's yesterday I did an interview uh, and the, the reporter very disingenuously just said to me, why don't you just move on? You know, I have not had my sweets taken off me. It took me close to taking my own life. And when I spoke about it, when I spoke about it, no stone's been left unturned to actually take me all the way there. Uh, and, you know, that, that's the reality of uh, what cricket has done and continues to do. Um, and it's, you know, it's triggering. You know, all the, the, the you know, everything I've built up over the last eight months to, you know, sort of move forward. It just feels like, bang, like in a little, little burst. It's all sort of, you know, I'm back to, you know, feeling incredibly low and hollow uh, and angry. But yeah, it's, it's just been like, I'm, I'm absolutely drained. But, you know, I'm made of a lot of strong stuff. And, you know, I don't. I'm not naive to the fact this is so damaging for me, you know, because uh, the easy narrative and easy, oh, you know, it's same again, or, you know, troublemaker, and it's very easy. And you know what? Oh, crack on, crack on, because, uh, you know what? I will continue to hold you to account. I will not let you use our trauma and our suffering um, and exploit it, because that's what happens in our society right now. Our feelings, our uh, colour, um, you know, our faith is all exploited for what works for uh, certain individuals um, and everyone that's been involved in this process should hang their heads in absolute shame. Is it back to square one or is it worse? I mean, first thing I would say is, um, you know, this thing of things were changing are, is all smokes and mirrors. Um, you know, not a lot has changed. That's the reality. What happens is, and this is a cycle, right? We've seen it with the Met Police. We keep seeing it. You know, there's a reason why institutions don't change because there you have this big outrage. Everyone has suddenly found their moral compass. We must do this. We must do that. Action plan. And then everyone's forgotten. On the week of my DCMS, ECB, all the counties, everyone, 43, these people all gathered at the Oval. I remember the thing, Tom Harrison did a press conference with Richard Thompson, who's now the new chair, stood in the background. This is a, uh, you know, I can't even remember his quotes, but this is a massive moment. It's an emergency for the game, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do a dressing room culture review. Where's the dressing room culture review? Where's the report? The report is that bad that it's stuck in the ECB office, but no one, no one's interested in putting that under pressure to get that out. You know, Yorkshire, whistleblowing, whistleblowing hotline. Yeah, spent one point whatever million on it. Where's the report? The guy who's running the whistleblowing hotline is going to Diwali events at the club, but he hasn't released a report yet. Where are people? So people just, their attention span goes to something else. You know, if Eid events was going to sort out institutional racism, God, you know, we'd have sorted it out a long time ago. You know, it's the same tick boxing. It's the same, you know, poxy solutions. Unfortunately, um, you know, recruitment, um, you get people into these rooms. Um, I don't know what happens to them because before they go in, everyone talks a great game. And it, what happens to them? And suddenly you start talking to them and their language gets more and more frustratingly, like they're not going to do anything. But you know, test matches on, let's have photos with, you know, players, uh, sport has this incredible lure. And once people go in there, they think, oh, you know what, I get tickets. I get to watch this, I get to watch that. And, oh, I better keep my powder dry because, you know, actually, it works really well for me. Um, so actually, the reality is not a lot's changed. I'm aware of people that have been bullied into NDAs in the summer in Yorkshire. Right? I'm, I'm aware of people that have, you know, 
NDAs up and down the country. It has all been smokes and mirrors that there is this big gym. Has there been some good stuff? Absolutely. I think one of the best things that have happened is uh, taking cost away from coaching and um, kit for young players in the pathways. And that made a big difference. So that is a real tangible direct intervention where you can actually say it made a difference. Lahore Kalanda's partnership at Yorkshire. Let's talk a little bit about that because, you know, there was a big trials announced. It never took place. No one talked about it. Trevor Strain, who sits on the board, took his son out to Lahore. I was the one who set up that partnership. N no one knows that, but I can reveal it today. I was the one who, you know, started that partnership. I didn't set it up for Trevor Stain, Strain, a uh, privilege for him to, for his son to go over to Lahore. You know, and then I've seen another person go over, which is, I think, uh, a son of a friend uh, of one, another board member. You know, but no one's going to say anything. Um, it, it's incredibly frustrating. Things don't actually change. In terms of hope, you know, I've, I've been, tr I've, I've always tried to say, you know what, make your own decisions, uh, because um, fundamentally, as a parent, you want to put your child at risk because that's what you're doing. You know, you, you are putting your child's psychological safety at risk. You want to do that. If cricket is more important than your child's psychological safety, go for it. Uh, that's the reality of where we're at. Um, you know, so no longer can I have, um, you know, we've just seen it play out. Um, far too many people say all the right things. Um, actions don't match them up. what will happen is because I'm putting them under pressure mm -hmm. what they will do is they're going to be want to be seen to doing more and you know what that will create more opportunities for our, our kids so that that will happen opportunities will be created so you know what if um, you know if me keeping their feet to fire creates more opportunities I'll keep doing it uh, but it's got to be more than that you know we don't want the crumbs anymore you know we're not interested in being you know look at one one brown man came in to mix uh, and was the boss. Look at what they did to him. You know, I hope one day he speaks. Yeah.